In this video, we'll go over all the WoW news from the past week and try to compress it into a bite-sized video. The weekly event for this week is World Quests. 50% more reputations for max level World Quest stuff, and a quest to complete 20 World Quests for a thousand war resources. The archaeology bi-weekly for this week is for the Imp Generator Trinket, which is useless, but has a neat effect. And this Sunday, there will be a micro-holiday for Gar Day, where you just go around major cities and talk to guards and you can pretend to be one. Crucible of Storms Mythic and Raid Finder become available today. The Noble Garden Holiday is going on this week. This year, they added a new Hearthstone toy, just like they did for all the other holidays in the past year. Something new for people to get if you've already done the holiday in the past and have obtained everything else. And now it's time for some miscellaneous things. The boat mount, which was given to players for having a six month subscription, is now in the store for $25. Or about two WoW tokens if you want to buy it with gold. The item level for World Quest rewards, the Emissary rewards, and the Azerite armor Emissary rewards has been increased by about 10 item levels, with the release of Mythic and Raid Finder Crucible of Storms. The classic WoW Friends and Family Alpha has started, which means the beta could be soon on the horizon. And finally, they've added Anduin to Heroes of the Storm, giving him a whole bunch of Holy Priest themed abilities, confirming once and for all that he has not turned into a paladin and is still indeed a priest. And now into the weather with DevBot the WeatherBot. How's the weather out there? Humans don't only use 10% of their brains, they use 100% of it at all times. The other parts control their body and organs. That's true, DevBot. Alright, and with that, I'll see you all next week.